right, let's just take a gander here. $19, $25, holy smokes, geez louise, wowzers, 10 bucks, $20, $11, I think we can do better. $20 for a flutter spoon. What are they thinking? It's a, just a spoon. It's, it's a piece of metal with some holes cut in it. You know, or the hook on one end. I mean, twenty dollars. It's like that's highway robbery for a spoon. A spoon. Huh. I bet. I wonder if I could. Hmm. <whistles> She'll never miss one spoon. She'll never notice. Okay, regular viewers, we're back. Over 100 subscribers. Woo! Amen. Outstanding. Um, we're back on Project Clandestine Flutter Spoon. We successfully smuggled this out of the kitchen. We haven't been caught yet. So for this project, what we're going to need is a hacked up hacksaw, a center punch, another center punch, and a Sharpie marker. Um, in all honesty, you can get these regular spoons at the Wally World. Um, this is just the cheapest stainless steel one they had. I want to say this was less than a dollar. But that was a while ago when I bought it. So here at my local Walmart, these three pack of stainless steel spoons is $1.97 American. And if you want to get really fancy, my regular assistant found this one for $2.37. Uh, it's only one, but it's really fancy colored. Uh, other specialized equipment that you should have is your safety glasses on your regular assistant so that he doesn't get shards of metal in his regular eyeballs so that the regular editor doesn't make you sleep on the regular couch. Um, and then ear protection. I'm going to use a bench grinder, which is specialty equipment, but it is something that I have and, um, and a vise. So we're going to draw ourselves just a line back here, just a regular line, nothing special. And a dot, flip it around and put a dot right about there. That was Canadian for you Canadians. Center punch. This one apparently, there we go. Works better when it's adjusted right. Okay. So I always like to put these down on a big piece of metal and then and punch them one more time uh, with this one as well. But we're not going to do that here because this is not an appropriate surface for that. All right. Uh, if you want to join me over here at the, uh, the regular vise, uh, we'll show you how we cut this off. And we're back. We still have our Allen key from the last project and we're going to put that away because why? Because we need to take care of our tools, so they take care of you. That's right. Good job. So get our spoon in the vise here. And we're going to keep going. Regular editor, please cue the... Music! Okay, so we're here at our regular drill press. We're going to line this up and we're going to use our used, use the used motor oil. 
Uh, we reduce and reuse and recycle, use motor oil so we can relax when we go fishing. So we've center punched this. Mammo. Flip it around. Mammo. Done and done. Okay, so we're on the uh, to another drill bit. Just to, we're going to step up to the next size. Just drill these holes out. Just a little bit here, uh, so it's going to fit our hardware later. But again, put a little bit of our used motor oil on. We're going to use a better angle here, hopefully, for you, because uh, the last one was terrible. That's it. Flip it around. A little squirt of oil again. So we've got appropriate size hardware attachment points now, and we're going to come over here to the grinder, and we're going to uh, just clean this up real quick, all right? But we need to get some headphones for the uh, regular assistant. Okay, so we're here at the regular grind bench grinder. Uh, we're going to clean up these edges, and, uh, and this right here, and then we're going to go over to this side of it here and just deburr it, all right? over at the regular bench so I tied up a little treble hook with uh, just a little bit of flash gold and silver on it super glued the um, thread on so it's not going to go anywhere and it's got a split ring on it already uh, unfortunately I got super glue on the split ring so I have to work that out but that's okay it's just a regular problem we can handle we've got our flutter spoon all finished and it already has a natural bend in it for from its uh, past life as an actual spoon. And it turns out from past experience, I realized that that is the perfect bend to get a really nice flutter. And on the front, all I'm going to do is attach uh, this oval split ring up here as a nice tie-on point. So we got that split ring on there, and as you saw, I uh, hit the other one and knocked it off into oblivion. So we'll be back from a brief uh, message from our sponsor, which I guess at this point is my paycheck. All right, we're back. Well done. We got our split rings on. We have the hook that we tied up here, uh, this used treble hook that I used. Um, I use the used treble hooks because I like to be able to retrieve my lure, and the method I employ is 50-pound braid. Uh, this hook I'm able to bend and it will come out of the cover there. So use split ring, use treble hook, and a used spoon. Uh, did we pay $20 for this? No, sir. Did we pay $10 for this? No, sir. I mean, we're coming out ahead right here. So we got Excuse this. Excuse me, sir. Yeah? The regular what? editor needs it. What is this? An invoice? Um, she needs your signature. One spoon, a dollar. Restocking fee? Convenience tax? $15 cash only? Okay. Well, thank you, I you're, guess. You're welcome, sir. Okay, well, I guess it won't cost the regular viewers $15 to make, you know? But uh, I guess here at the, the regular shop, things are different sometimes. Anyway, thank you very much, everybody who's liked, comment, subscribed. I can't believe the support that we've had. We appreciate it so much. We've had just a blast making these silly videos, making junk out of uh making lures out of junk that the bass won't notice what are you laughing at <laughs> this is a real lure anyway we appreciate it guys thank you so much don't forget
Hey, what are you kids doing? <laughs>